In this video I'm going to show you two ways to connect a CD playing device to your home theater surround sound stereo. Because I'm showing you two different methods for connecting your CD player to your stereo, there are two types of cables that can be used. The preferred cable is a Toslink digital optical cable shown here on the left. This is going to produce the most clear sound. The most commonly found cable, however, are the red and white analog audio cable located on your right. Even though the Toslink is preferred, not every device functions through Toslink, so we're going to start with this red and white cable. You want to locate the red and white output on the back of your CD player. Now you'll notice in this example I'm actually using a DVD player. Some viewers may or may not know that a DVD player typically will double as a CD player. A CD player, however, will not double as a DVD player. So I've made my red-white connections to the back of the CD playing device. And I take the other end of that red-white wire locate my CD input on the back of the stereo, match white to white, and red to red. Now as I mentioned earlier in the video, the preferred method is the digital toslink connection. So I take one end of that, I locate the optical output on the back of my CD playing device, plug that in, take the other end, I locate an available optical input on the back of the receiver and plug that in. Easy enough. All you have to do select the CD input on the face of your stereo receiver and you'll be able to listen to CDs. Hey, if this information helped you, please subscribe to our channel. Also, visit our website. There's a link right below the video. We have hundreds of articles there. If you know somebody who might benefit from this type of information, whether it's reviews or how-to, please share a link to this video with them. We appreciate it. Have a great day.